Well, investigators are trying to figure out who killed a young couple in their Bucks County home. It's a crime that has shocked a normally quiet neighborhood, and this happened along Kitty Night Drive in Churchville. The couple's bodies were found yesterday morning. Our news reporter Trang Doe is live outside the home, where investigators will continue the investigation later this morning. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Investigators are expected back out here in just a few hours. And you can see here this home remains taped off. Officers have been here overnight guarding the scene. And though no one has been arrested, the police chief says there is no risk to the community right now. Hugs and tears outside the Churchville home where a painter discovered the bodies of the young couple who lived there around 1030 Tuesday morning. The painter who was working in the neighborhood, working on that house specifically, went into the house to use the bathroom and found the people inside the house and called us. They haven't lived here that long. It is. It's just a shame. It's just heartbreaking. The man and woman, described as in their late 20s, lived on North Kitty Night Drive for about a year. Their bodies were found on the second floor. We believe it happened sometime overnight. Northampton Township Police Chief Michael Clark says he doesn't believe the couple was targeted, but perhaps their home was. I think they just happen to be unfortunate victims of circumstance here. These are two nice young kids that um, have been in the area. We've never had any complaints here. It's, they've been a, a you know a regular residents here, and you know, just they happen to be, I guess, unfortunately, the wrong place at the wrong time. As a crowd gathered outside, investigators found a weapon and shell casings inside the home, but are not yet saying how the couple died. Adding to the mystery, a car belonging to one of the victims is missing. And as of last night, police were still trying to locate family members of the victims, so they have not yet released their names. Their autopsies are scheduled for tomorrow morning. But for now, we're live from Churchville, Bucks County. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Rahel, back to you. A very sad story there. Thank you, Trang.